Now, obviously, Save the World has had a lot of talk about it becoming free. Now, it was initially meant to go free at the end of 2018 or early 2019. Well, we're getting closer to the end of 2019 and it's still not free. But I've got a few theories of when the game is becoming free and I think it could be a lot sooner than most of us think. Now, there's loads of people out there that still don't think this game is going to become free at all. Now, I'm on a brand new account right now, and obviously, I don't have Save the World. Now, if I click on to Save the World, there's a little bit of text here that reads, The Save the World PvE campaign is in paid early access with microtransactions. Early access means it's still in development with bugs and balanced issues. If that's not for you, please hold off until Save the World is free to play. This to the people that don't believe it's becoming free. I guess that's all I need to show you. <laughs> anyway, they go on here about um, buying Founders Packs. Now, this is a huge, huge thing, especially with the update of 9.40. In the brand new update, they have updated the currency for non-founders. So what that means, when the game becomes free, you are going to be a non-founder. So this is what it says. We're introducing a new type of currency in the 9.4 for a non-founding Save the World players that we're calling X-Ray Tickets. X-Ray Tickets will replace V-Bucks for all non-founding players and can be earned by taking part in quests, mission alerts, and daily login rewards. Now, obviously, as a founder, you get it as V-Bucks. So that is a massive, massive change all of a sudden. So I think that it could potentially mean Save the World is becoming free a lot sooner than we think. It also says you'll be able to use this currency exclusive on X-Ray Llamas within Save the World and does not cross over into Battle Royale. And you're probably worried about what this means for a founder. So if you've already paid for the game, you are a founder. So they've said here, all currently available founders packs will continue to reward V-Bucks in place of X-Ray tickets when doing daily quests, mission alerts, and from daily login rewards. This change will have no impact on any player who is currently classified as a Save the World founder. So that's good news for us, boys. We, it means we could still earn our V-Bucks and spend them as you would in Battle Royale or on Llamas and Save the World. Another reason why I think that Save the World could be becoming free pretty soon is because they're being proactive with fixing glitches and adding new features. Although they still haven't patched the duplication glitch. But they have recently patched the double wall glitch where you used to be able to get two walls in one and also the traps that were in your base that would never disappear and they were just floating in the air. But yeah, Epic, if you're watching this, please fix the duplication glitch. More big news is obviously that emotes are coming to Fortnite Save the World in Season 10. And I'm pretty sure whatever emote you own in Fortnite Battle Royale, you will be able to get in Save the World. So obviously, there will be a lot of emotes that you don't actually own from Battle Royale. So potentially, that could bring across a whole new cosmetic item shop or Save the World. Now, that would be absolutely insane in my opinion and i'm super super hyped about save the world for season 10 i don't know about you guys if they did end up bringing across a new cosmetic store then i would love to see things such as customizable heroes weapon skins and even back blings let me know in the comment section what you'd love to see in save the world and your opinion on whether it would be a good thing or a bad thing if they added in a brand new cosmetic store i've also been noticing a few weird things going on in the discord server now you're probably wondering how is this anything to do with save the world becoming free but if you click on green monkey you can see it says group one of 16 now that is slightly weird and i've actually experienced this myself when i had a full party of four players people were still able to join how are people joining us we're, we have a full party right now oh what my the hell? we have a full party oh, how where the hell are they in wait what and we're on private wait do you think what they're adding the bigger lobbies it's just joined. another person just joined I just joined yeah, how are they this is oh, this is the kid. Wait, how is he in here? I don't know. How is this guy I'm in epic. here? He's Fire Ninja joining. How is this guy in here? <laughs> what? Bro, we Wait, got five him? people. I wonder. I wonder what happens six. if we load. What happens if we load into the SSD and there's like Yo. twenty people yeah. sitting in our lobby? Fire um, Ninja. Are twenty on. people gonna load in? Hold game up. 
Party member Wait. is underpowered. Who's underpowered? Oh my, it's power level four, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> power level nine, power level 11. What? Wait, I'm actually really intrigued. We're Let's... gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have 30 people load into this SSD. Hold up, it's hold gonna up. be Pog. They'll be able to get into Stonewood. There's no way, there's actually no way they, they, they're gonna get in this. Party size is invalid. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Now that could just be some sort of glitch, but it could also mean that someone messed up at Epic and put in a feature that wasn't quite ready. And we could be seeing 16 player lobbies in season 10. In my personal opinion, I think that Save the World could potentially become free in either season 10, 11, or maybe even 12. Although I do think it is a little bit early for it to become free just yet, because there is still a lot of bugs and glitches that do need to be fixed.